Hey besties, it's your girl Catherine. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Bath & Body Works is having a $5.95 body lotions and body cream sale. Need I say more? I feel like it's always like a flash sale to me even though it's like flash sales are considered like two to three hours even though it's like a whole day. Anyway, for the whole day of Thursday, May 6th, they're going to be having their body lotions and body creams on sale and this also includes aromatherapy lotions and i believe also aromatherapy body creams as well oh and i also do want to say the wellness collection lotions are also on sale i just did recently checked and they're having them for $5.95 too if you are shopping online the code is hydrate so make sure you put that code in before you check out because you guys the savings you are going to have i am so excited for everyone let me know down below if you guys are going to get anything during this sale the limit is 20 so if you really were wanting to stock up on 20 body creams and body lotions for Mother's Day, for gifts, for yourself, go ahead by means. You guys, I'm so excited for this because I've been waiting for a body care sale for so long and I missed out on the last one, which is all right. It's okay because I feel like I don't even need it anymore. But I do want to give you guys a couple of tips and tricks to kind of maneuver the sale and just kind of like be mindful as well. For a couple of tips, I do want to say $5.95 is a pretty good deal for body creams. So if you love body creams and you go through them super quickly and you know that you will be able to use them up, I normally say to get the best bang for your buck and normally get the body creams but if you are like me and you love collecting products and you feel like you won't go through like five body creams very quickly i would recommend to try using the body lotions and maybe get like two or three body creams that you really know that you will use like consistently because here's the thing body creams for bath and body works they turn so much like the formula amazing but the one problem is that they turn very quickly i recently bought an apple blossom body cream last july and i tried to use it this spring and it already turned so honestly it really depends on the scent that you have a lot of people say it's like two to three year lifespan but it really depends on how you store it and if you're going to use them up so i want to let you guys know just to be mindful like maybe your products might expire if you don't use them up as quickly so there that's where the body lotions are okay so 5.99 for a body lotion it's not the best deal but i think like if you love collecting things and you want to have them for a, quite a while they will be like your best friend the only thing that happens is when a body lotion turns is that it will get a little bit more liquidy i have never experienced a body lotion that like smelled bad just because of the consistency in the formula other than having like a really liquidy body lotion if you love having lotions just for collector's purposes try out the body lotions but if you are trying to just to use them up but try to tend to get the body creams because of the best bang for your buck so Another tip that I would also say, if you are in store, they also have like another thing going on. It's like this little tote bag, a reusable tote bag. And it's like, it's like the ones that you can get from like Aldi or like Lidl. It comes with so many things, you guys. Like that's a lot of things. So if you spend $30 and you do the sale in store, and then if you want to, you can get that bag for another additional $35. So it's going to be like $65 in total. But I think that's like a really great deal because you get like a candle, the summer mimosa sets, and also the things that you don't want in like that thing, you could always exchange it if you didn't end up liking the scents. And then, you know, I feel like it's a really good investment because it's like, like values over a hundred dollars there's that and i also do want to say for people who are shopping online hey boo i'm with you too if you ask kindly okay i have done this multiple times before don't hate me on this this is just how i do it sometimes you don't want to pay the shipping fee that 5.99 that express shipping but this has worked for me for just like the flat minimum flat rate if you submit your order and then you go to the live chat you can ask them kindly because this always doesn't work, okay? Sometimes this doesn't work. You have to ask them, hey, is there a way that you can waive my shipping fee from my order? And then you give them the order number. And sometimes they will give it to you, sometimes they won't. So that's just a little tip for you guys. I'm just sharing you guys my, my little secrets and tips. Because I know a lot of you guys would want to prefer shopping online and like not go into the stores. So getting your shipping fee waived is just like the best thing to do. But that's what someone taught me in the comments. Like, hey, you can just ask like live chat. They can get your fee waived. I do it all the time. I was like, oh my gosh, I tried it and it actually works. Okay, so for body creams and body lotions, normally sometimes they do an upcharge. And this is the last tip and then we'll go into the recommendations for the last tip. You want to get those heavy hitter scents. I highly recommend to get You're the One. You're the One is, this is the fragrance mist by the way. My lotion's like somewhere else, but you're the one is like a very high upcharge and i'm not sure why they do that but like they want to get that coin they want to get that bang so having it at a flat rate for the body cream for 5.95 is a heavy 
hit her already. So if you're gonna get the lotion or the body cream, either way, they already upcharge like the regular price for like body lotions. Body lotions are like $13.50. So I believe the body lotion for the You're the One scent is $14.50 and then for so on and so on. Like this mist right here is $17.50 while regularly they like retail for like $15.50 for the fragrance mist, which is already crazy anyway. This is also like the best time to get like your scents that are in the regular classic collection like the signature collection like around the walls normally you guys will see like into the night and the stars and those scents are never on sale especially like during sas people are like oh i want that scent well normally with those scents that will go on sale are the old packaging so i definitely think like these type of flash sales are the best time to stock up on your favorite signature collection scents and i also do want to say this scent right here for example gingham you if you love gingham this is the best time to stock up on your body lotions and body creams from gingham they're never on sale during like SAS if you're new to SAS. So I highly recommend getting scents like these. Gingham, Into the Night, and the Stars, A Thousand Wishes. If you love A Thousand Wishes, you should stock up on your body lotions and body creams. This is the best time for your signature collection stock up prices right now. From Aromatherapy, I highly recommend this scent right here. This is the Sleep Chamomile and Bergamot. Now a couple of you guys don't really like Aromatherapy. Some of you guys are like just getting into it. This body cream is like a sweet, delicious scent and it's supposed to make you like feel very calm. It's delicious. I think it's like a perfect almost tea scent because of the chamomile and it's not too like strong and like woodsy. It's a perfect blend. I love this scent so much. Probably one of my favorite hands down aromatherapy scents that they have made. Highly, highly recommend. You guys have heard me talk about it so much. This is my favorite scent ever. Definitely get the body lotions these apothecary bottles they're so beautiful i love just how aesthetically it looks like on my vanity it looks amazing this has sandalwood and eucalyptus and it just has like a little bit of like the sweet scent kind of reminding me of like the sleep chamomile and bergamot if you like chamomile and bergamot i think you might like this one but this one does have a little bit more of like a sea salted tone to it it's delicious highly recommend this one this is also going to be part of the sale. Now, I also do want to say this is a perfect time if you're shopping online or if you're going to an outlet to get those retired fragrances. Okay, if retired your fragrances are normally at your outlets and also online, you can get them anytime during those places. Sometimes outlets don't have them in stock most of the time, like they'll have like one or the other. But I highly recommend Pink Chiffon if you love sweet, sugary scents. This has red pear, jasmine petals, and tiara flower with vanilla orchid and this is like the most sugary scent ever it almost gives me pink sugar vibes it has a little bit more of a floral note into it so if you love sugary scents i definitely recommend pink chiffon and i also have to shout out my boo velvet sugar you guys know this is like my og undergrad scent this stuff is amazing if you want to smell expensive but not too overly harsh like into the night and in the stars you are going to love velvet sugar it's delicious. Oh my goodness. Like, can I some more? This will, like, make you feel intrigued. They will attract the people that you are into, okay? This stuff is amazing. Highly recommend. Get it in the body cream or in the body lotion. I love it. And I also do want to say, I actually have had Velvet Sugar turn into the body cream, and it did not smell good. So that's why I have it in the body lotion, so it can last longer. But yeah, this stuff is so good. Another retired fragrance scent that I would recommend is Almond Blossom. You guys, Almond Blossom is so delicious. I hope it's still on the website. I hope it is, but either way, this is such an iconic warm cashmere scent. I definitely think if you love like your homey type of fragrances and you just want to smell cozy, this is the definition of cozy. Almond Blossom's Bay, okay? Like if you haven't tried Almond Blossom, if you love like nutty, very like aromatic scents, you're going to love Almond Blossom. I mentioned A Thousand Wishes. I'm actually going to have that on my wish list. I want to get the body lotion in this just because I feel like I need to do like a matchy matchy. If you have a fragrance mist in something and you want to get a body lotion and body cream, this is the perfect time to do it, of course. So this is actually on my wish list, kind of like a little teaser. I already placed my order actually online and I was just like doing it like the past. I was like, oh, I don't know what I want. Another scent that I think is really good and very classy is Forever Red. Forever Red is amazing especially with the fauceted collection right here you guys can see like the texture of the bottle is a little bit different this one also has upcharge too this one is $14.50 and this one is $14.50 they're the same price but this you guys is an amazing classy scent it's almost like a perfect everyday scent to me so delicious it has a delicious note of pomegranate not too strong not too weak it's just perfect in the middle i definitely think if you are a classy type of boo then you are going to love this scent okay highly recommend it and i just love the packaging so much it's literally my favorite i also do want to shout out some of the scents that were like kind of like a little like spring collections that recently came out i love 
Belize Tropical Cabana. If you love banana scents and you love the scent of sunscreen, you're going to love this scent so much. It has a banana daiquiri note into it. It smells amazing, especially during when you're going to the pool. You're going to smell like a fine abyss. Literally telling you guys, it's a delicious. I highly recommend Belize Tropical Cabana. And I also do recommend Oahu Coconut Sunset. It's an online exclusive still. Is it? I don't know. I might, it might be in the stores. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was planning on going to the store today, but I didn't want to drive because of my PTSD. So we, there's no, there's no walkthrough. I, one day I'll do a walkthrough in Bath and Body Works, but yeah, that's gonna be it. Also, a couple more scents. I highly recommend Strawberry Pound Cake if you love your gourmand scents and you're running out of your SPC. SPC is here for you, boo. Definitely recommend it in the body lotion or the body cream. The stuff is so good if you love a sugary, indulgent, gourmand, iconic, authentic strawberry pound cake scent. This is so good. And I also wanted to shout out my boo. Hey, this is Raspberry Jam Donut. I haven't talked about her in so long, but this scent is an iconic, truly scent that smells legit like a raspberry jam donut it's almost to the point where people think i'm smelling like a cotton candy so i feel like if you like cotton candy scents you might get away with this but i to me because i know that this isn't cotton candy it doesn't smell like cotton candy but i highly recommend raspberry jam donut also coconut cream pie too okay there is one scent that i would recommend to maybe not get or get because i actually have it in the body cream right now but this is going to be great for people who don't like strong scents okay Warm vanilla sugar. Yep, I actually got this a couple months ago just to see if this actually was like weak because a lot of people in the Bath and Body Works community have been saying that warm vanilla sugar is not as strong as it used to be and I can attest to that. This is a very light scent. I definitely think this is like almost like a bedtime scent or a scent to have on especially if you're with people who have very sensitive like noses and they don't like really strong things. So I think this is like a nice everyday scent but if you are expecting a very strong vanilla scent from warm vanilla sugar this year, you're not going to get it. This is just for the people who want something on their skin but not too strong and not too noticeable this is it this is what this is for you boo this is for you and lastly i want to recommend one more scent and i'm actually going to get this in the mail too so another sneak peek i definitely recommend magnolia charm okay people hyped this up so much in the beginning when they released this as an online exclusive it's now in the stores now so you guys can get this in the store if you want to this gives me like a very nice fresh laundry type of scent this has dewy pear blossom blooming magnolia and fresh cedar if you love fresh like almost baby clothes scent you will like this scent it smells really good so i don't think it has a strong linen scent you're not a fan of linen or cotton you will like this, okay? Like, this is not, like, a strong, like, mm -hmm. Sea Island cotton type of scent. Like, this is amazing. I think it's, like, a perfect, like, everyday type of scent, especially if you don't want to make a statement, just like warm vanilla sugar, but you want to smell clean and fresh. Magnolia Charm is the way to go, and I'm definitely getting a body lotion in this because... It's delicious. It smells so amazing. Okay, I highly recommend it. A little bit florally too. So enough rambling. I'm going to get off here and let you guys purchase or not purchase. Let me know down below what your wish list is for the sale. If you're going to participate in it or not because I would love to know down below. What do you guys think of Bath and Body Works nowadays? I've been hearing a lot of tea about the buy two, buy three, get one. And then like that's past now. They're doing like buy three, get two. I don't know. And also I'm going to get the wellness collection lotions too. So keep that in mind as well. I love you guys so much. Let me know down below i love to have a conversation in the chat box right now and yeah spill the tea guys spill the tea i love you guys so much and happy shopping or happy not shopping if you guys are going or not bye